Welcome back to the Benny Bar Pilates Studio. Today I have for you a springboard Pilates lesson where we'll be targeting the arms and core, working hands and knees in a quadruped position. Let's begin with setup. We want to be using the heavier set of springs or the shorter set of springs at a level five on your springboard. That's five up from the bottom. We're going to be working in a quadruped position or hands and knees. Hands come directly underneath the shoulders, knees about hip distance apart, and directly underneath the hips rather than being here or here. So we're going to find a nice neutral place. Now, we can do all of these exercises right here, or you can challenge yourself by taking the opposite leg back. We want to make sure that the hips stay as steady as possible. So in other words, when we're working here, we're not going to tilt to one side or tilt to the other. This can be a real challenge. And that's normal to feel like, man, how do you keep your body rooted and steady when you've got one limb working, pulling away and working? So if you feel like you can't keep it steady while using the spring, then I would just tell you to just move that arm in the motions that we're going to do without this spring until you can stabilize enough here, okay? So lots of options. We're going to hold on to the spring. Also, if you want to reduce the weight, you can move it down the springboard a little bit lower than five, or you can use your less heavy spring here. So I'm still on my heavier arm springs, and I'm gonna take one arm, and I'm just gonna let it extend towards the springboard. So right here, I'm just at my middle square as far as distance away from the springboard, and I can barely touch my fingertips to the board. So I'm gonna come out to where I lose the slack on my springs, and then I'm gonna press straight back and away, and return. Now I can challenge this by taking my opposite leg, it's my left arm that's working, so I'm going to take my right leg and extend back, and that's going to challenge my core a little bit. I feel nice and stable in that three-point quadruped, so now I can extend one leg back and away. We're going to exhale as we press back, and inhale on the return. right here. Good. I want to remain stability, so I'm going to go ahead and switch sides here to the same thing on the other side. I'm going to stay nice, strong, and stable and not exhaust myself too much on one side. So I'm going to reset here. I'm going to take my opposite leg out, and I'm going to take the right arm now, straight back and up. So I'm just thinking about the spring gliding past my hips and then coming back forward. Make sure that you've got a little micro bend in your elbows, in both the elbows. We don't want to lock out or hyperventilate, or hyperventilate, hyper extend the elbows in any position, whether it's your stabilizing standing arm or your working arm. as well here. Okay, we're going to reset and come to the other side. I'm going to give you a couple of options here. We're going to sweep out to this side. So we're going to circle out to the side. Now you can come halfway here and return, or you can take an entire circle back to the body and circle back out. Okay, so do what feels best there. So circling back to the side and circling back out. One more right here. Good, release that step. Pull it back into a quadruped position. Opposite leg coming out, switching to the other arm, grabbing onto that spring, and circling back. Good. 
good. So we want to make sure that we're not shifting into this hip right here. Keep it stacked and stable as if all four of your limbs were still pressing down. As you start to get tired, it'll be easy to lose that neutral spine or shift off to the side. So we really want you to stay focused, press up and out of that opposite shoulder. Thanks so much for joining me in the studio today. If you're looking for more Pilates springboard, you can take classes with me online through Patreon. There is a springboard tier in which you get a new unique springboard class every single week and access to all of our past weeks. These classes range from full 60 minute classes to shorter five to 10 minute workouts for those days that you just don't have time. And there's so many options available for you. Check it out. You are are going to love it if you love springboard workouts. And of course, check out my channel for more Pilates springboard, Matt Pilates, bar, and much more. I appreciate your support here so much. If there's something that you would love to see, please let me know in the comments below.